Jesus name we pray I will go with Jesus everywhere no matter the roughness of the way I must go I must you must go everywhere I must go everywhere I will go with Jesus everywhere no matter the roughness of the way I must go I must go I must go everywhere you must go everywhere we must go everywhere we must go I must go, I must go, go before the Lord in prayer, and the Lord make you have a tough heart to go with Jesus everywhere. No matter the roughness of the road. Keep going. Jesus name we pray a divine father we are grateful to you to be your children we are sharing with you the surprises of life why human beings hate the perfect God the loving God the true God the righteous God that when we do good to them, they speak evil of us. They plan evil of us. We begin to wonder. But that's what they do to you, Lord. Let your scripture comfort us, instruct us, encourage us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Deliverance from unreasonable and wicked men. 
deliverance from unreasonable and wicked men. Second Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 1 and verse 2. Second Thessalonians chapter 3. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified, even as it is with you, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. For all men have not faith. All men are not in Christ. We are laboring to make the word of God reach the people freely to cause them to understand the word of God and see glory in it. But unreasonable and wicked men are pursuing us to hurt us. They are fighting against us. So, brethren, pray for us. That God will open the door for himself. That they will not hinder us. They will not prevent us. Their battle will not stop us. They will not win over us. They will not have their way among us. Pray against them that God himself will fight against them. God will prevent them. God will turn them away from us. unreasonable men they don't use their minds to think well they don't use their mind the color you see is not the color they are seeing why you see black I mean, you see black they don't see the black in what they are doing they see white They see that what they're doing is the correct thing. While you see the white in what you're doing, they don't see white. They see black. They don't use their reasoning. They don't even sit down to question themselves. Why are we doing what we're doing? What is the cause? Where has he offended? Are we not in our wrong? The thief on the left-hand side of Jesus was mocking Jesus. Being in the same condemnation and was dying, he never bothered. He preferred to align with the people who were mocking Jesus. Was he thinking if he aligned with them, they would release him, but if they would not. But the one in the right hand side said, man, why are you so unreasonable? We were justly condemned. But as for this man, Jesus, have you not been hearing of him? Did you hear that he was an evil man? It's because of envy, clearly they brought him here. You know. Why are you now laughing along with the people to mock Jesus? Unreasonable man. Not only unreasonable, they're wicked. They have been looking for how to do evil. They do evil at the slightest provocation. 
if they cannot find provocation, they create one because they want to do evil. Pray for us. These are the types of people we have in our society, in our community, even in the church and neighborhood. The good we do to bless men attempt evil in some quarters to the point that they may seek our heart or to stop our good works. The Bible tells us in John chapter 3, John chapter 3, Verse 18. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world and men loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. There's light, there's good, there's truth that has arrived to them, has come to them, but they hate it. They hate it. Why? They love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. A man and a woman were moving in the night embracing themselves on the roadside. Then a vehicle suddenly takes that road and shines over them. They start abusing this man. You fool. You idiot. What brought you here? Look at you. We'll deal with you. What has the man done? Is it not a motorable road? The two informed the world that nobody should come there because you were going to do some darkness there. Why don't you sit down and reason? What am I abusing this man for? What is his fault? To the point that you want to break his glass. The glass of his vehicle. For what? Because you are unreasonable. Because you are wicked. That is all. That is all. Yes. Nehemiah came for the welfare of the people of God. But his coming and project was hated by the enemy forces who sought to annihilate him. Why did you come? Why are you coming to see the welfare of these people? Why are you coming to give them good things? Why are you coming to greet them? Just like that. Look at it in the book of Nehemiah. Chapter 2. Nehemiah chapter 2. I read... Verse 17 to 14. Then said I unto them, Ye see the distress that we are in, how Jerusalem lieth west, and the gates thereof are burnt with fire. Come, and let us build up the wall of Jerusalem, that we be no more a reproach. Then I told them of the hand of my God, which was good upon me, as also, and also the king's words that he had spoken unto me. And they said, let us rise up and build. So they strengthened their hands for this good work. Can you see? Jerusalem lieth west. The gates burned. The people are in reproach. I came to see their welfare. I came from the governor to see their welfare, how they are doing. 
to see what I can do to repair the walls of Jerusalem, to rebuild the gates of Jerusalem. And the people were happy with me, but not all. The people were happy, not all. The good you think you are doing, the shock is that while others are rejoicing, others are murmuring. While others are praising God for you, others are wishing your death. That is just how it is. Ma is not a completely one-sided community. They divide upon truth, upon good. Yes. So the Nehemiah told the people, let's build up this. I came to encourage you. And God has given me resources. I have money so that we can use the money to build this place for God so that everybody in the community can be happy. The people in our neighborhood should see the glory of the Lord in our lives and they too should be happy. But no. No. In verse 19. But when Sanballat, the Horonite, and Tobiah, the servant, the Ammonite and Gashem, the Arabian, had it, they loved us to scorn and despised us and said, what is this thing that ye do? Will ye rebel against the king? Can you see enemy forces, unreasonable and wicked men, are not interested in your progress. They are not interested in our progress. They are not interested in good works in our lives. They are not interested in the good work we do. Thou enemy of all righteousness. They don't want it. They want perversion. Leave it like that. <laughs> A story was told of a, of a believer in your best dead that got a madman delivered from madness through prayer. And the madman was so joyful and gave his life to Jesus and became a believer. A little while, the Muslims gathered and took the evangelist to, to police station. Who asked you to remove madness from this man to the point he has become a Christian? He must not be a Christian. Bring back the madness to him so that he can remain a Muslim. <laughs> it's better he was mad and a Muslim then he should be normal and a Christian. The police people who are there, will they also reason if they are Muslims? I say bring back the madness of this man. And this Christian only knows how to remove madness. As to how to bring a madness to a person, he doesn't know. If you don't know, then he must be a Muslim unreasonable men, wicked men, who have never taken time to think. This man, in his madness, we all know. And we know that no Muslim had the power, no charm, nothing to remove madness from him. Is it not a higher power? Does it not mean that the God of Christians is a true God? This Jesus is real? No, they're not going to think like that. They're not going to think so. I'm saying this because the devil could have given you this type of heart. You don't cherish what is good. 
you don't cherish it. What is good? You were complaining that see this man, he has not given you anything, and yet he says he's your, he's your brother. Which, which way is he, is he your brother? He has not given you anything. Even unknown to this brother, he gave you something. You are not happy to collect it. Why is he coming to stop my mouth from complaining? Now that if I, call, now if I collect this thing, he will not, if I'm complaining, people will now be, be laughing at me. People will see me as wicked. Oh, what will I do? He's giving me something now. Can you see human being? You take pleasure in your murmuring, in your complaining, in your criticism. So, you want to continue. You don't want good that will stop criticism. That is man. Unreasonable and wicked man. You have been looking for how to deal with him. But now, the area you thought you have got, God in his grace came to help you so that you won't commit sin. Came and good came out in that area for you. You are not happy at all. He has blocked you and you take interest in doing evil. I thought I've gotten this way to revenge. But see now, he has come and apologized. Kai, what do I do? Can you see human being? It's because devil gave you a wicked heart. You prefer to mean love darkness rather than light. Because you are an evil man. See these people here. See these people. They were not ready to support good things. They mock at the people to discourage them. But when the people never got discouraged, ah, they wanted to fight them. What are you fighting us for? When we build our fence, don't you have fence over your place? What have we done that you want to fight? Look at it. They tried to use the name of the king that uh, will ye rebel against the king to threaten them that the government was against what they were doing. But they didn't know that this man had taken permission from the king and that the king even supported with money and requested that they should pray for him. But they tried to use the government to threaten them. More than that, they wanted to fight physically. Chapter 4, verse 1. But it came to pass that when Sanbala heard that we builded the wall, he was wrought and took great indignation and mocked the Jews. He was so angry because these people were doing good things. A man came to build a house in his family and the neighbors were angry. He's building a story building. Oh. Who told him to build? In fact, we will kill him. What has he done? At least your village will be said to have a story building. And that is... A, a, that building is in your neighborhood. Is it a happiness? Why do you want to kill the man? Because he's building a story building. Wicked heart. Unreasonable and wicked man. That is the matter. Unreasonable and wicked man. So they were angry. Verse 7 to 11. Of Nehemiah chapter 4. But it came to pass that when Sambalat and Tobiah and the Arabians and the Ammonites and the Ashdodites heard that the walls of Jerusalem were made up and that the breaches began to be stopped, then they were very wroth and conspired all of them together to come and to fight against Jerusalem and to hinder it. 
very rough. As if their heart would burst. They were busy squeezing their heart because of pain. Pain for what? Pain for good works. They're doing good works. <laughs> I hope nobody is angry with uh, the street we're making here. <laughs> you, 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 you don't know them. People say that has given wicked heart. Why do they want to tie this road? Hmm? They want to make this person, this place beautiful. For what? They, they want to show that they have money. And he's also one of us here that shall also move on this road and sit there even. But no, 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 no. I don't know. How do we stop this thing? What do we say? What do we do? You will not do anything. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Because God wants it so. God wants the thing to be done like that. He had given the vision of this camp long that is going to be a very beautiful house. Beautiful place. And he's doing it according to his time. You hate it. Are you not of Satan? Why are you hating it? Why are you unhappy? Re reject that heart. It's from the devil. Reject it. So, they conspired. They came to fight against us. Yes. Nevertheless, we made our prayer unto our God and set a watch against them day and night because of them. To continue your good works in the midst of unreasonable and wicked men, you must pray. Take your walk to God. Don't walk in assumption. Everybody knows that it is good now. I bought clothes and shared to all the people. They should be happy who told you. Human beings don't have that cooperative heart, all of them. Satan has his own. Pray. Because they are unreasonable men. That the good you have give, done is evil spoken of. They do not recognize good. They see good as evil. So pray. Call upon God in your good to help you, to strengthen you, to make you do it for God and not for man. Because all men have no faith. All men are not in Christ. Yes. And then we said a watch against them day and night because of them. Day and night. Pray. When you pray, wisdom is essential. Apply wisdom. You pray, even in your good life, in your good works, apply wisdom. And he said, and Judah said, the strength of the bearers of our burdens is decayed. And there's much rubbish so that we are not able to build the wall. Satan has moved inside the people doing the work. They look at the wall and they're crying. This work is too much. This work is too much. Look at all the broken walls. And it, it's so deep. The refuge is so deep. When will we finish? Even many years. It means we will not rest. It means we cannot do another thing. Devil. This is people inside. And it is the enemy forces that are stirring them up. Enemy forces are stirring them up to work against the development, 
good development of the children of God. Can you see? And our adversary said, they shall not know, neither see, till we come in the midst among them and slay them and cause the work to cease. Is then you know this is Satan. This matter is Satan. Because the rebuilding of the world has connection with the Messiah to come. The rebuilding of the world. Everything has been divided into seven weeks. I mean, into weeks rather, until 70 weeks. Before Messiah shall return to rule as king. So everything has been timed by God. You are seeing material things, physical things, and you're envying and fighting. It has been planned by God that that fence, that wall should be rebuilt. Because Messiah shall come when it is rebuilt. The Messiah that shall rule the people. Everything and the number of years specified. But you, you are fighting this thing just because of Satan. You are, why are you joining Satan to fight God? By murmuring, complaining, refusing to join in the work. By listening to the enemy criticism. That's the question. Yes. They say we'll fight them and stop the war. That's their plan. The plan of the wicked. Verse 13. Therefore said I in the said I in the lower places behind the wall. And on the higher places, I even set the people after their families with their swords, their spears, and their bows. Yes. And I looked and rose up and said unto the nobles and to the rulers and to the rest of the people, Be ye not afraid, be not ye afraid of them. Remember the Lord, which is great and terrible. And fight for your brethren, your sons and your daughters, your wives and your houses. <clears throat> I got the people ready for battle. We have prayed. We must let these people know we are ready for the battle. Which means even in your good work, you must fight to do it. <laughs> you must fight with all the vision a man has for his community for his country, for the state he wants to rule to be a governor, he must fight his way through to be the governor he must labor work hard so learn how to pray and do spiritual warfare to allow your good works to be done don't think everybody will clap hands and receive it. Satan is among the people. So, it cannot be cheap like that. Simple good word that everybody should be laughing. Pray well. Ask help from God that you will do this work and finish it. Otherwise, the human society will not want to allow it. There are a group of people in the society who are organized against development. They operate in the darkness. The whole meeting constantly. They are picking up the good man and are studying the good man. What does this man want to do? Is he wanting to do what? Because they are not interested in good. They thrive better in evil. 
The, their organization is set up to promote evil. If a man comes and says, I want to show kindness, every abandoned building, I will roof it and put doors and windows on it. He has problem with area boys. Smokers. Thieves. You want to close up all our business centers? You want to drive us away from this place? All those uncompleted buildings have purposes in our own business. And you want to fight, we will deal with you. <laughs> you think you are doing good. But to a system of people, a community of people, an organization of people, you are not doing good, you are doing evil. Because you are help stopping evil in their lives. You are closing their centers of evil. Hence, with all your money, with all your good heart, still pray that God should grant you grace to roof all abandoned houses and put doors and windows on them. You need prayer. Otherwise, you may die for it. I'm telling you like that. Man! The association he finds himself in, the training he has received, the state of heart he possesses, is not the one that appreciates good. It's not. When a witch is ready to kill somebody, whether it is her son, and the person came and gave her money, she will not say thank you because it's, it's, this one you are trying to confuse me. You are confusing me. What are you doing? Why did you give me? Because the heart is for evil. The heart is prepared to do evil. It is bent on doing evil. I'm saying this to know that God has discovered you. The word of God has searched you out. Repent and remove that heart from your life. Call good, good. So, Nehemiah prepared the people to fight. Prepare the people. To do good work requires high preparation in spiritual warfare. Now, we have evangelism project before us and we want to promote holiness revival movement worldwide whom God says we should promote we want to promote the international director Pastor Paul Rica whom God says we should promote so that people should come to him and hear the word of truth since they cannot find these true preachers easily since everywhere is corrupted, now we are going to raise our billboards. We are going to print, print flyers just to say holiness revival movement is the answer. The international past director, Pastor Paul Rica, has the world. God has commissioned him for this end time. Be ready for battle. You are doing so so that people should come to Christ. Not to a man. Holiness movement itself does not save. It's Jesus that saves. Pastor Rica himself does not save. It's Jesus that, has, that saves. But these are means employed to bring salvation to mankind. For God has given them the grace. God has given him the grace. Giving holiness movement the, the grace. He raised holiness movement up for this time. He raised Pastor Paul Rica up for this time. But it will be battle. Churches will rise up. Not Muslims. Seemingly holiness churches will rise up. Criticism. They may even climb up and tear the 
the bills on the boards. They may go and put poor on it. They may make their remark. They will go to the internet and do all to make human beings not to listen to it. And if you check very well, they are Christian churches. They are. Is it not part of our brethren here that took a bad information of holiness movement? The international director, Pastor Paul Rica, the wife, Sister Linda, to the news, I mean, to the internet, and spread it to the ends of the earth to confuse human beings so that people should not look to us. People should not hear us. They are there, unreasonable and wicked men. All the attempts, and even within us, I remember as a state overseer in Makodi. Pastor W. F. Kumui, the general superintendent of the Palais, was coming to us for crusade. I was the state overseer. We did much publicity, much. Pastor Kumui is coming with the world. Pastor Kumui is coming with power. Pastor Kumui is coming with this. Come and listen. Come and receive your miracle. Come and receive this. After the program, I was told of a prominent member, a woman, who didn't attend the crusade. Uh -uh. We were busy asking others to come. And you, a member, didn't attend. He said, no, the publicity for Kumui was too much. Why would you people be doing that type of thing? How will you be promoting a man like that? Uh -uh. So he didn't, that's why he didn't come. Are you, are you seeing human beings? Human beings. Everybody say human beings. <laughs> but there are good ones of them. Very good ones. Like myself. And I think like yourself. <laughs> Praise the Lord. She was so un angry because we were promoting a man. What we want to promote the man, Jesus, the man is carrying Jesus. If in the multitude of uh, people, if you want a writing to be read uh, by people, who, which type of person will you choose? Is it a short man or a tall man? It's a tall man. By the time he, reach, he raises up his tall hands, is above everybody. So that's why we're promoting him. By the time we raise him up, the thing he is carrying shall be accessed by the people. Because he will be above others. People will look to him. That's the whole thing. It's not for you. Why they shouldn't they promote you? Why are they promoting? Uh -uh. There's understanding. There's wisdom. But these ones are unreasonable men. More than unreasonable. They are both unreasonable and wicked men. That is it. So, they will want to fight the evangelism work we are doing. Any method you use. The flyer. The billboards. What? They are fighting it. Wow, they are unreasonable. So, you must be ready to take it by force. Since the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence. And the violent take it by force. If you think Hey, no, I don't. Uh, 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 no, if you people are against us, no, we will we, withdraw. We you will not do anything for Jesus. For Jesus to tell us to do this, something is telling me in my heart. Remember, the Lord said He raised this movement up 
to prepare the church for his second coming, I mean for his, uh, for the rapture. Do you remember? Remember the Lord says in all the revelations around us and prophecies, he will meet us alive. Holiness movement shall not collapse before he comes. If God now has come in this violent way, announce it. Certainly, my sheep hear my voice and they've come to me. They follow me. Many people shall be coming to holiness movement. They shall be coming in the internet, in the Zoom meeting, in Facebook, and even in the physical meetings. The holiness movement will spread and say, then the trumpet shall sound. The word of God has been fulfilled. Revival has come by holiness movement. And he has made us alive. I'm reading it like this. The ah. I told you. The thing where the Lord stares them in revelations. And I said, a woman called me from Trinidad. I saw your, you on billboard in the sky preaching to people. <laughs> I, I myself had this revelation. Let me share it with you. This vision, revelation I saw it maybe seven years ago. I saw an image in the sky of a man of God. Great man of God. In the sky. That accessed by the whole world. And I say, ha! Ah, deeper life have done great things. They have raised up Pastor Kumui right to the sky. I said, this is an honor that they have given to this man. I was at peace with it. It's, it's my pastor. I was at peace with it. About seven years ago, already in holiness movement has been there long. I was, I was at peace. I was happy. So when I came among the people, when I came among the people, I saw the thing. Uh -uh. It was not Kobu, it was myself. I said, eh? Ke? Who did this thing? On top of the sky preaching the world was hearing uh -uh. then it does say maybe some this my brethren in America they would have come because this is a great money spent hey but this love too this is commitment this should be my brethren in America because where will such money came, come from I never thought of any place here that have some brilliant contributed and have done these wonders. But since then, dream has finished and gone its own way. Mordecai, after they have pulled him around the palace, came back again to the gate. I said, no, Malma, not knowing that that which was shown him as introduction shall play in full later. So when the Lord now comes to, to cause this thing, they shall raise you up in billboards around the world. And it's for your glory. It's for this word of God to spread fast and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached to all the world and then shall the end come. So my brethren, Let's go for it. We'll be printing handbills, flyers, racing up things on billboards, on all me medium of evangelism. Please join in it. Release yourself. Release your money. Let's do it. 
Don't be unreasonable. They are not doing it for me. It's for God. It's not me. It's God. So don't be unreasonable. Don't. Don't go into envy. As for fight, enemy forces will fight, both physically, by church, and Satan and his agents. Don't join them. God is doing this thing for himself. To get these people misled who don't know that there is true Christianity existing anywhere in the world. He is using it to open their eyes. Yes. In the book of Isaiah chapter 42 Verse 1. Behold my servant, whom I, I abhor, mine elect, in whom my soul delighted. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. Yes. God is the one doing this thing. He is the one raising up the people, raising us up for himself, not for us, but for himself. God is doing this. Let's join him. Let's join him to do this thing. Join him. Do it with all your heart. With all your soul. With all your mind. And God will be pleased with you. Again in just chapter 42. From verse 5. Thus says God. The Lord, he that created the heavens and stretched them out, he that spread forth the earth and that which cometh out of it, he that giveth bread unto the people upon it and spirit to them that walk therein, I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness and will hold thine hand and will keep thee and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles. To open the, uh, the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from their prison, from the prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. That's what God is saying. He, God, he is God that is doing this thing for his glory. He's not honoring man. As giving glory to man, let man take glory. No, it's, it's for his sake. For his sake. That he's doing this thing. So let's all give glory to God. He planted it in Christ. He's planting it in Christians. In the man of God. To cause the truth to be known in the world. He is the one doing this thing. For his own glory. Back to what we are saying. Our camp development activities will be resisted, as I told you. Now, because of the structures we have here and there, outside the camp, in Kuali here, or what you call Lambata, we brought a uh, a bulldozer to construct roads to link roads the streets linking to our various uh, acquired lands and houses this is opening wide road through farmlands 
And as good as it is, some people are rejoicing that development has come to this area by the church. Others are angry. The church has scattered our farm. The full Annie will say, see these people. They have reduced our grazing field. The farmlands will carry our cows too. They have cleared them. They have turned them to roads. They will be thinking that we are wicked people. We don't love cows. <laughs> but we are talking about development. The place cannot remain bushy. And the government has marked out these roads already. We are following what the government has marked out as roads. To open them up at our expenses for the good of the community. Of course, for our good too, because they're linking our the places we have purchased, but it will require battle. People will fight. The full and will say, Let's go and pick that man. The man is spoiling our business. It will require battle. Fight. While we're doing these good works, we have gotten information the chairman is so happy with us. Chairman of the local government. We're helping them. When will they do it? But we're helping them at our expense. So, we still have to pray that unreasonable and wicked men will not take this up against the church. Some people who have built, even a, taking part of the roadside to build, by this construction they are revealed. It means their building has to be, have to be pulled down. All they have built there. They will be angry. Why? We did it purposely. Why are you discovering us? So we need to fight. Pray in spiritual warfare. The fighting I'm talking about is spiritual warfare. That God will give us grace to do this work. Yes. There's nothing we can do to please Satan and his evil people. They have no power to think right. They have no power. To think right thoughts, no, they don't have. They can play more in evil. A person playing football who, who uses his left leg does not have power in his right leg. Even when a ball is pushed to his right foot, he has to push it back to the left before he can kick. So these people, they are, their thoughts are in evil. They don't have power. So it is the power of God that shall arrest them. Look at what they did to Jesus. In Matthew chapter 12, verse 22 to 24. Matthew chapter 12, verse 22 to 24. Then was brought unto him one possessed with a devil, blind and dumb. And he healed him in so much that the blind and dumb both spake and so. And all the people were amazed and said, Is not this the son of David? The people were happy. But the Pharisees, but when the Pharisees, Pharisees had it, they said, This fellow doth not cast out devils, but by Beelzebub, the prince of devils. Can you say? It is not in them to think good. Which one has cast out demon from dumb and deaf and the soul that it was by the Beelzebub? They are seeing it the first time, the sign of the Messiah, but they have no power to think good, to speak good. 
They speak evil only. You, have, you are close to a man who doesn't have power to speak good. A woman, she does not have power to speak good, to think good. And you are making such a person your close friend. You will be spoiled. Her spirit will enter into you. You too will lack the power to speak good, to think good. Look at them here. It's visible. While it is a sign of the Messiah. Can you see that? That is it. Again, in John chapter 7, verse 12. John chapter 7, verse 12. The Bible says, and there was much murmuring among the people concerning him. For some said, he is a good man. Others said, nay, but he deceived the people. Can you imagine that? Jesus is, <laughs> that Jesus was deceiving the people. They don't have the power to think good, to speak good. But then there were good men among them that said, this is a good man. We see it in him. Our interaction with him shows he's a good man. The works he's doing are, are works of good people. No! He's deceiving the people. He's deceiving the people. Verse 40 to 43. Many of the people, therefore, when they heard this saying, said of a truth, this is the prophet. Others said, this is the Christ. But some said, shall Christ come out of Galilee? Had not the scripture said that Christ came out of the seat of David and out of the town of Bethlehem, where David was? So, there was a division among the people because of him. And some of them would have taken him, but no man laid hands on him. Then came the officers to the chief priests and Pharisees and said unto them, and they said unto them, Why have ye not brought him? The officers answered, Never man spake like this man. They answered them, I mean, then answered them the Pharisees, Are ye also deceived? Have any of the rulers? Or of the Pharisees believed on him. These people who know, know it not the law are cursed. Nicodemus said unto them, He that came to Jesus by night, being one of them, that our Lord judge any man before it hear him and know what he doeth. They answered and said unto him, Are thou also of Galilee? Search and look. For out of Galilee arised no prophet. And every man went into his own house. Go there and, and, and give us peace. <laughs> Scatter yourselves, unreasonable men, wicked people that are not ready for truth. Always trying to bring reason because you are in darkness. So this is it, my brethren. People will be looking for stories to bring. Stories that are not there, they will manufacture it. Just to abuse your mind and stop the work of God. Yes. In Matthew chapter 26, we read verse 14 to 18. Matthew 26, verse 14. Then one of the twelve, called Judas Iscariot, went unto the chief priests and said unto them, What will ye give me? And I will deliver him unto you. And they covenanted with him for thirty pieces of silver. And from that time, he sought opportunity to betray him. Can you see it now? What did Jesus do to Judas Iscariot? If you see this, it followed the reproof Jesus gave when Judas was complaining that the spikenard 
that the woman was pouring on Jesus was too costly. They should have sold it and given to the poor a thief. And Jesus said, come, you have the poor always. Me, it's just this one chance. And this woman is pouring this thing on me to show that I am consecrated for, ba- for dead. It's a sign that I will be a dead man. It's only dead people they anoint with this oil. They pour this uh, ointment upon to keep smell from the room. I shall soon be a dead man. It's unto my burial. Then the man became angry. He has blocked money. The money I thought would come to me, he has blocked the whole thing. Please, who wants him? <laughs> Judas is carrying. He went to be asking. He went to be doing advertisement. Jesus for sale. Jesus for sale. A person who has walked with Jesus for three and a half years and has seen all the miracles is now going about for Jesus for sale. Is he a reasonable man? Wicked man. All the people Jesus was healing and delivering is not a business to Judas Iscariot. He has blocked him for money. He's here for money. He's a disciple for money. And now Jesus has blocked a woman that he would have made much gain. Jesus for sale. So he went to meet the, 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 the priest, chief priest, and they priced Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. From that time, when that Jesus was doing miracles, Jesus was praying, Jesus was doing anything, he was looking for how to bring people to catch him. His heart was no more. The message of Jesus had no meaning. The miracles of Jesus had no meaning. The goodness of Jesus, the laughter of Jesus, the play of Jesus had no meaning. Wicked and unreasonable man. That's why. Back again. Second Thessalonians chapter 3. Verse 1 and 2. The Bible tells us, saying, Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free cause and be glorified, even as it is with you, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for all men have no, not faith. People are in churches that all that matters to them is remove our leader. I will write to the headquarters. You think that we're all careless people in the headquarters here? That Satan can write and then we begin to remove. Never. God uses people. Satan also uses people. We will know where you belong to. So it's not that you can just write on any person. Remove him. You can't move us to join your party. We will check well, investigate well. If we check and it is you that is of Satan, you will face it. He that digeth a pit for his brother shall fall into it himself. Wicked and unreasonable. All your pastor is doing there, your overseer is doing there, is not your business. All the coordinator is doing is not your business. Remove him because he is praying against your witchcraft. Is not allowing you to make some gain. So look at this now. That we may be delivered. Pray for God's grace to continue in our so that we can continue in our good works. We need the grace of God. We must be prepared in spiritual warfare. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Therefore, but against principalities, powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. We must be prepared to fight, even as we're doing our good works, in spiritual warfare, having done all to stand, praying always with all prayers and supplication. Yes. Stand firm. Pray for your ministers that the Lord will keep them and deliver them from unreasonable members, wicked members, 
unreasonable society, wicked society, that the word of God may have free course. Yes. Do a good warfare with your good works. Still pray. Plead with God to give us favor before the people. Let God touch them. Let God make them to recognize the voice of Satan in their lives and reject him so that they can turn to us and receive the grace of God in our life for their salvation. Yes, may God give us favor in the sight of the people. Pray for wisdom in our good works and for our good works that we will do this thing well. We will do good works and continue victoriously. In Jesus' name. What have I said today? I'm saying prayer is what is required. Because what the God of heaven has put us forth to do, wicked and unreasonable men, unreasonable and wicked men, outside and inside, we want to fight it. We want to stop it. But it shall not happen. They will want to hurt us. They want to come and fight us. It will not happen. Rise up upon your feet. That is what we should do. We must continue in this vision. God has given it to us. Continue. In this vision. Ask help from God. I will go with Jesus everywhere No matter the roughness of the road I must go and fight to do his work I must go Everywhere Oh yes to do his work in boldness. Hey, Jesus. Oh, yes. We must go with Jesus everywhere, no matter the roughness of the way. We must go, we must go, go with me. Everywhere. I must go. Everywhere. Open your mouth and say, Lord, we will do your work, whatever the persecution. We will go whatever the opposition, whatever the threat. We will publicize your name. We will publish your name. Never join wicked people that resist the way of God. Fight them in prayer. Bind those wicked spirits. Rebuke them if they speak before you.
Hallelujah. Father, let your power come down. We resist every force against us. We bind every spirit of the devil against us in our good works. Lord, give us grace to do our good works. Hallelujah. To publish your name. To advertise your name. To do good works to serve humanity. We must go with Jesus everywhere. No matter the roughness of the way. We must go. We must go. You must go with Jesus everywhere. No matter the roughness of the way. You must go. You must go.